For every struggle in your life, there is a strategy. They got it. Hurt people will go above and beyond to hurt people. Insecure people will go out of their way to create insecurities. Dysfunctional people will take a peaceful, happy, and beautiful situation and figure out a way to create dysfunction where there is none. If everybody likes you and you're just as beautiful as you can be and as healthy as an Olympian, if you deal with nothing but life, life will try you to the breaking point. People tell me all the time it's hard to get wealthy, it's hard to grind, it's hard to be focused how do you even do these speeches. It's hard to stay motivated, it's hard to stay broke, it's hard to stay depressed, it's hard to stay governed by anxiety, it's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines, it's hard not to believe in yourself, it's hard to be broke, it's hard to be poor, it's hard, it's all hard, so choose your heart, you either go work for it. You know, one of the things that human beings underestimate dramatically is their capacity to get great at something if they're totally immersed in it totally laser focused on something because you are way more powerful than you know you are if you went crazy psycho obsessed laser focused on anything even something you're totally ill prepared for listen to me you can't give up if it was easy everybody would do it but if life's got you down i need you to get up and prove them wrong because it's not like you don't have a dream for your life. It's not like you don't have a desire. In fact, some of you, it's not that you don't even have faith in God. Your problem is every time you step out, you have yoked yourself up to people that you have no business being yoked up to, and your life is going in zigzags. Why is it I'm back here again, this time like I was last year? I should have overcome that. I should be further. I should be stronger. It's discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right. And regret, in and of itself, it's worthless. So, learn and move on. Any relationship that has no real reciprocity will Strong people will keep giving to you a long time. Eventually, when they don't see it coming back in similar capacity, they will eventually become convinced that the investment does not warrant a return. Tell you before you lose again. You have to have a made up mind that you are in it for the long haul. It may be difficult, you have a good reason to walk away. Don't take the easy way out. Stay committed to your dreams. Don't give up on the promises God put in your heart. It may be taken longer than you thought, but God is still on the throne. Stay committed to your job. Be a loyal person, somebody they can count on day in and day out. You're not always going to feel like it. There will be good days and tough days. That's when you have to dig your heels in and say, I'm going to do the right thing when it's hard. I'm committed to this job. I'm going to be my best even though my supervisor isn't treating me right. I'm committed to my dreams. I'm not going to give up because I don't see anything happening. I'm going to keep believing, expecting, thanking God. I know it's on the way. God rewards consistent, faithful, committed people. You're gonna sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. It's hard to practice perseverance. It's hard to practice compassion and forgiveness. It's hard to set personal goals. It's hard to take care of yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to live in bitterness and unforgiveness. It's difficult to be jealous of somebody. It's hard to let yourself go. If you don't learn to give like you learn to get every area that there is not reciprocity, it will die. If I had time, I'd take you all through the ecological system. And it's not just biblical, it's ecological, it's science, it's everything. Anything that takes more than it gives will eventually destroy the soil. I don't give a fuck how good you are at piano. If I decide to play piano, I would be better than you at piano. And I believe that. I don't just say these things, I fucking believe them. This also ties into how why you need to create your reality. I'll give an example, man. Everybody around me is brave. 
I don't hang around with cowards. You have to understand that I've created my reality to the point now where I can only make the bravest decision because everybody I speak to is brave. There's no in my realm. I'm rich enough that everybody I correlate my existence with, everybody I conversate with, is saying do the brave thing. There's literally no realm for being a coward. So how can I be the only coward in my peer group? Am I gonna be the only amongst all the men I talk to? No. Depression is not real. Feeling depressed is real. Mm, so you can feel you can feel depressed, but you feel depressed, and that is a natural biological evolutionary trigger for you to change something in your life. That's that's your own mind telling you you're unhappy about X. The best things in life is on the other side of fear. But one of the things that I've always done to help overcome my fears is I make my dreams bigger than all my fears. I have dreams that's so big that not, not getting there is just unacceptable. It, it doesn't make any sense for you not to have the life that you dream of. It does not make any sense. God really does want to use you as an example of what he can do. You just gotta volunteer, but you gotta be willing to go through something to get to it. Success ain't free. They ain't passing out money, man. Anybody sending none to your house, that ain't how this work. You got to go get it. But in order to go get it, you got to want something. You got to have vision boards. You got to have stuff you dream about. It can be difficult to lay your life down and humble yourself and rid yourself of the disease of ego, pride and comparison and competition. It's, it's difficult. It's hard to be creative. It's hard to be an introvert. It's hard to be an extrovert. Singleness can be difficult. Marriage can be difficult. Raising your children on your own can be difficult. It's hard to wake up early. It's hard to wake up late, but there's a reward on the other side of waking up early. If you wake up late, you've lost too much daylight. I will show you how God commanded the farmer to let the ground rest because you have to put something back in, something that you're taking, something out of. See, somebody has never taught you how to give. They teach you how to take. Are you demanding more of your God or of your family or of your church than you give? If I went to jail today, I'd be depressed because I'm in jail. Mm -hmm. I haven't caught depression. I don't have a disease. I'm just upset with my situation. Yep. I have people mess with me all the time. I'm fat and I can't get a girlfriend because I'm depressed. I'm like, no, pancake lover. <laughs> You're depressed because you're fat and you can't get a girlfriend. Do you understand? Because how I feel doesn't have bearing on how I live my life. Everyone knows what the right decision is. People pretend they don't know. You know the decision is to go to the gym. You know the decision is to put the chocolate bar down. You know the decision is not to drink. You just pretend you don't know. Oh, but I feel this way, so I da da. Garbage. You know you should be in the gym whether you're happy, sad, excited, it doesn't matter how you feel. You know what you should be doing. Nobody is gonna come to your bed, drag you out of bed, drag you to a job, force you to work hard, go and get you a hot bitch and go and buy you a Ferrari. Any area that you expect more than you invest, you will live in a perpetual state of disappointment. You committed to God. Number two, you committed to your family. We're going to get through this. That should be the language you approach your family with. We will get through this. We may have to bunk up. We may have to move in together. We may have to put our backs up against each other. We may have to both get part-time jobs. We may have to come out sideways, but we will get through this. You got to have this stuff written down. That being successful is not an accident. Hey, man, stop thinking, man, that your life is over because you're a certain age. Who are you to determine? You know what I can't stand when I hear Christians say, well, I guess it, I guess it was the Lord's will. If it was the Lord's will, I would have had some money by now. No, 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 you can't dump that on God. God's will is that you prosper. That's his will. Now, the fact that you have made some adverse decisions to stop your prosperity train from happening, don't dump that on him. God comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly. That's what he say. Well, then the question is, where you're abundant at?
You're going down to church, you're memorizing all these scriptures. Why don't, you, why don't you apply some of them? He come to give you life and give you life more abundantly. God got a great life for you, man, but you got to want something. What somebody else did before you woke up now, you only have a fraction of the day to get it done. There's a reward on the other side of one pain, and there is regret on the other side of the other pain. And if you're going to win the reward, you're going to have to persevere. You're going to need endurance. You're going to need to be consistent. And on the other end of the pendulum, there is the pain of regret where you did nothing because you were afraid you would make a mistake. The pain of regret will hurt you. So choose your heart, make a decision. 